Let's start with that GTA 6 trailer, yeah? Bro, that's, uh, that's crazy. Bro, okay. First, let me, let me say by GTA, the thing about GTA is everybody grew up with GTA. Once GTA 3 came out, it was like, it was over from there, right? Everybody has played and remembered the classic GTAs. The thing about GTA 5, though, is that when it came out, first of all, mind you, it came out on the PS3, okay? It sold over a billion dollars on the PS3 in sales. Went to the PS4, went to the PS5, and now we're going to get GTA 6 in 2025. By the time that comes out, they're going to be like, PS6 is out. Like, no joke. PS6 coming out soon? I'd say I about four or five years. Yeah, I'm not trying to buy another system. Me neither, bro. I hate when they jump to that. So I'm like, bro, I just got my PS5, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm definitely not down for that at all. It kind of disrupts things. In fact, that's uh, that's the thing about GTA 5. So GTA 5 was crazy on the PS3, right? Yeah. Everybody was on. It was so fun. Was it on PS3? Yes, bro. That was where they originally put it on. And it was so... It was like its own culture at the time. And what happened was when, G- when PS4 came out, it split the fan base because not everybody could get a PS4. So it wasn't as fun and people just stopped playing it. You know, whereas when everybody was together, it was like lit. So everybody continued playing it. But regardless, over the years, we've seen a lot, a lot of new shit um, in GTA 5, right? And so now we're like, finally, gee, finally, finally, the rock has come back. That shit, you know? Um, bro, sorry. They always deliver. Like, you don't even got to question that. Like, GTA has got to be the most iconic, bro. The most iconic gaming, like, franchise of all time. Like, it has to be. It has to be. If you read Red Dead, bro, they smacking it out of the park of Red Dead. They always do. Bully, to this day, Bully is a. Classic. I didn't really play Bully. I oh. I played it like on the PS3, I think, but like only a little bit. But like by then, like the graphics are just like I was used to better graphics, so I was like, I can't. Yeah, go because back the game this. came out on PS2. Yeah, I was like, I can't yeah. go back. If if I played it when it first came out, I'm sure I would have loved it. So but... I played it when it first came out on the PS2. Loved it, loved it. Me and Mark beat it together on the same save file. Okay. Um. So that was good too. You know, back then you could couch game, play with your buddies in the same thing. It wasn't all online based. And so we played it. And so when it came out on 360 and PS3 and it had like the extra classes on 360, we played that, we beat that. It came out on PS3, I bought the remaster. I 100% of that. It came out on PS4, I bought the remaster. I 100% of that. So I've every time, I've, that's one of the games where like eight times I've, I've beat it. You know, so it's 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 up there with GTA, in my opinion. Um, so Rockstar is a killer. Um, but this GTA 6 trailer, people have been waiting for it for years, obviously. We finally get it. Finally got it. If you haven't seen it, just go look it up on YouTube. If you haven't seen it, you're probably living under a rock and you haven't seen you're not seeing this. You're not seeing this because everybody's seen GTA 6. Bro, that should look straight out of like you know Miami lifestyle. Like, I know Vice City's based on Miami, but like, yeah. they did a really good job. Like they got the girl twerking on the car. Bro, <laughs> they always do a good job at capturing their environment. They're supposed to be mimicking um, the society that they're mimicking, parodying everything, and they do it again. They do it again here with the uh, all the social media we see. Like they really do a good idea, uh, a good job of painting. This is Florida. You know, they got the gator coming out of the pool. They they took real Florida news clips and, you know, they got the, um, like I said, the girls working on the car. They got uh, they got the rednecks driving ATVs and mudding and shit. And shit, I've seen that downtown Chicago um, talking about the girls working on the car. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> they got, the, they got the, the one lady in the gown with the hammers and shit. So I think, I think what we need to do is we need to point out some things that, are different from GTA 6 to 5 because obviously 5 was such a jump from the previous GTA installments. You had so many like technological advancements. So of course you're going to see it here. We're, we're two generations later, right? I think the biggest thing that I noticed in this trailer had to have been the crowds. Did you see that beach? Like 
In GTA 5, the beach has like three people and they're just walking. In that beach, there was like 200 people. You had a couple that were like, one guy's like shirt off, muscular, because there's so many body types. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say, I thought it was pretty dope that they like, they had like different body types. So I feel like pretty much for the most part, everybody in GTA 5 was kind of like, they had like a couple of different body body types. It was either like you were skinny or you were like fat. Yeah, and that was it. Now well, they had like, like this like little shit. kind of like thick girl yeah. walking down the beach. I was like, who that? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they had they had all kinds of body types, and they had like the crowds were like you seen a crowd of guys like drinking and partying, different guys too, white guy, black guy, dress, no shirt, hat, this, that, cooler, and so it wasn't just like the same, you know, generic. And then over here you had the guy, the couple walking, the muscular guy with his shirt off, and the girl, and they're they're jogging. Then you had a dog in front of them. And then over here, right next to him, not like the beach either, right next to him, you had uh, a couple putting sunscreen on each other. Then you had a bunch of, like, females and bikinis walking in a line. Then you had a bunch of people laying out on towels. And this is, like, one little circle. So the whole beach is like this all the way through, all these random acts. Yeah. A guy on a jet ski. So the crowd. What beach is that, that big beach in Miami? South Beach. Okay. Uh, I've been there once. But there's actually a ton of beaches, and it looks like in this game there's actually going to be a ton of beaches. First, you've seen a ton of beaches with aerial shots, right? The, the actual, like, South Beach and then whatever, and then you got the North, whatever, and the Keys. you got those area beaches. So you've got a bunch of beaches, and then on the signs while you're driving, it says Vice Beaches. So obviously it's like a strip of different beaches. Um there's a there's a there's a scene in there. I, I I the crowd thing in the NPC is not to be um, spoken of lightly because it even like there's a scene in there where you're going through this neighborhood, which is a famous neighborhood in uh, Miami. I forget what it's called. It's like Wind Hill or Windham or uh, Woodwind or something like that. Um, and it's got like a bunch of murals and like outdoor museums and like all that. That so you can see in that one part of the trailer. That's where all like the custom cars were and shit. And you had, um, again, you had crowds. You had people by the motorcycle and car here. You had a bunch of cars with their hoods up here talking. You had a bunch of people here looking at the pictures. So the, the NPCs are going to be crazy in this game. They're going to be doing all kinds of sorts of things. And, you know, they did mention that one of the big things is they're using AI to do um, the NPCs. So mostly they mentioned about cops and the, the intelligence in them, but they never mentioned. Yeah, I heard it's going to be, like, more realistic. Yeah, like, they're, they're not just going to, like, let's say you, like, punch someone in the face. They're not just going to start shooting at you. Right. They're going to be like, oh, ah, you know, or so. And I, I'm, I'm imagining the dialogue will be better, too. So I hope they got the, the Chicago laws so they can't chase you on foot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I know, right? <laughs> like, yeah, what's yeah. up? What you going to do, cop? Nope. <laughs> Actually, I think it's going to be the opposite. They'll finally fucking chase you on foot instead of just shooting. Yeah. Um, so that'll be cool. I think it's going to be dope with the with the Bonnie and Clyde thing. Yeah. I might have to find me a girl like that, y'all. So, <laughs> obviously, it's a Bonnie and Clyde story, right? Now, a lot of people were thinking, because it starts in the prison, then it's like this one and that. They were like, oh, maybe they're telling the story backwards. And at first, I was like, oh, that's a super GTA thing to do, you know? And a lot of people end up in jail at the end of the game, so. So, but I don't think it is because if you look at the poster, she's got a um, she's got an ankle monitor on while they're sitting in the Queen and Slim style, uh, where she's sitting on the car and he's there and she's hooked around him with a gun. Yeah, that's that's from the Queen and Slim movie that uh, that post. Um, so but she has an ankle monitor right here, so I think it is she gets out of prison and they're trying to like get away or whatever. Or honestly, to be honest, they might be doing like a Undercover cop, like for the girl, like a CI type. Yeah, they might be trying to. Get like out. this guy's like uh you're trying to say like this the guy's like a criminal and she's an undercover nah, cop. I think I think they were criminals. She got popped, and now she's got to do something for them to get away. And he's helping her because they they they're lovers, but they're gonna try and double cross the, the feds too type shit. And yeah, that'd be pretty a, dope. Like they got a master plan. My theory was that they, uh, with GTA 6 that they were going to do, like, put, like, all the maps that they had together. So, like, Liberty City, 
my city, San Andreas. Yeah, so that would have been crazy. Obviously, I think I think they're the not doing it. Five is not. I don't think it has it's the not. operating no. system. Or I'm not Especially, smart enough to know if that's the right word, but like op- I'm, that's what I'm going to use. I don't know if it has the operating system to support that. So the thing is, I think people were thinking they would want that because they're like, "Well, we get more and it's bigger and better." But but nobody thought about using the power to make better crowds, better intelligence, yeah. better, you know. So I think they were just like thinking too inside the box and too broad. Like they weren't being um, creative enough with it. I think GTA is not putting more map. They're putting more in the map. And I think that's better because there's more to do. You won't need that. Um, and I don't like big maps. I don't like having to go across the fucking map for an hour to get to somewhere anyways. No, but, but so like what I was thinking was like, that they would probably do it like you know you can't you'd probably like fast travel to certain maps. Like you want to be like you know something yeah, like, like you fast like travel this one, fast travel liked, that one. I never liked the idea of a fast travel. Like I want to be able to drive my plane from one end of the map to the other as well. Call me picky, kick me have my cake and eat it too. Not too big, but not too small type shit. But you know what? I I think it is gonna be bigger because you know okay so the they were in the um, Leonida. I think that's what they call Florida in GTA, where San Andreas is California. Okay. Uh, Leonida uh, Correction Center. So obviously they're in Florida, right? But Vice City is Miami. So you see a lot of Vice City stuff there. But you also see signs in the trailer for uh, Kelly County. And then also you see in the one clip, there's a Leonard County Sheriff. So in, in GTA 5, there was only, there was San Andreas County. Right, and there was um, what's the other one over there? Uh, what's you be paying attention way more than what, me because I don't notice anything like that. Hick, what's the hick town? What's the desert and stuff called? It's called um, Sandy Shores. Okay, right. So you got so you got the San Andreas County Sheriff, which is like Sandy Shores and uh, Fort San Cudo and everything that's not Los Santos, right? But that's one county. If you got Cali County and Leonard County, and that's all we've seen so far, it's bigger. You got multiple police forces. When do you think they release like another trailer or something? Like maybe a little Ooh, gameplay? I would say they're not gonna do shit until spring of 2024. Well, you so you think it comes out like I'm it's, thinking it's, it's probably gonna come, come out like, like, like August, November. September. Yeah. I, I don't know not. why I said November because I was thinking like September because that's when it released uh, uh, like 2013. Yeah, or whenever, I think right? it's going to come out August, September range of 2025. So you'll probably see something around spring of spring slash summer. Early it came summer. out 2013, right? Uh, GTA 5, yeah, right? Yeah. So they got 12 years. 12 years of money dude. on that. That's crazy. 12 bro. years of money, and that's y'all's fault for playing that bullshit. Because I, I'm not gonna lie, it got boring. I GTA it. 5 <laughs> got boring. I mean, after on and off. And I and I think a lot of the part was due to obviously the money situation, but I I firmly believe it's the, the fan base splitting. You know that that every generation you you lose purpose. Um, but definitely, it, if you're gonna um have a game for twelve years, you better deliver on the next one, which I think they are. To be honest, I saw a thing the other day. I'm sure they've been working on. I this saw a thing for the other day five talking years. about pre-order bundles and what they might offer, like collector's editions or whatever, and. It was a fan mock-up, but it was like a two hundred dollar collectible one with like ten million dollars online cash, a story, a statue of the two uh, at the two hundred bucks. I was like, yeah, I'll buy that. <laughs> I'd buy that if they put it out. I'm not kidding. But the guy was like, oh, pre-orders this, pre-orders that. It's like, yeah, you know what? Pre-orders aren't really the wave anymore. But if any game's gonna uh, be a safe pre-order, it'd be GTA and Spider-Man, hands down. In my opinion, that hey shit. GTA Online, you think that, that releases at least three months late, right? After oh that. yeah, they're gonna wait. They're gonna wait like three, four months. So you're gonna see a trailer in like spring, early summer, twenty four, and then you're gonna see one in summer twenty five, and then and then they're gonna release it in uh, September, August, and then I would say not until end of winter, early spring twenty six, you'll get GTA Online new. Bro, I feel like. I want to play GTA Online. I feel like I'm going to waste all my time. 
Right. <laughs> it's gonna it's gonna be crazy. That's I should be, I should be out there trying to make some money. Probably and I'm gonna be out good. there fucking on GTA six online. You get sunburned in that game? For real? See the guy with sunburnt that was hanging his his uh hose. I don't know if your your sunburn will change, but think about it. When you when you get beat up or bloodied up, even in this game, in five it changes, right? Yeah. So you get dirty or whatever. So you think they're not gonna do that in this game with the level of uh hairstyles and tattoos and my ass is always gonna be sunburned. Then. I don't wear sunscreen. Imagine if blood is like leaking down. Uh, the wildlife is crazy. It's Red Dead level, uh, Red Dead Two level, like in the bayou. There's um, the interior detail for sure is crazy in this game. Did you see the one shop where like you go in? In the old shops, you go in. There's like two standard racks with like a. It looks like everything's one sheet of cardboard, right? Yeah. In this one, dude, there's like counters with glasses and cupcakes in the glasses and. Uh, this and that, and and the level of detail, like you could pick, you feel like you could pick a cup up off the counter type of detail. So that's gonna be crazy. Um, <laughs> sorry, um, we we had a we had a quick call we from got a uh, call from Rockstar. <laughs> they had to call us up real quick and tell us to pipe down, stop giving away their secrets. We're not supposed <laughs> to tell people uh, that we know everything about their. We got some insider info right now. Uh, sorry, breach of contract. Breach of contract. <laughs> I'm gonna have to scrub that. 